Yo, what is going on, guys? It is Boy Nick here, back again with a brand new video today. We're going to be continuing my series in which I review every single Marvel Cinematic Universe film up to the release of Ant Man and the Wasp Quantumania. They are going to be reviewing the final film in phase two, the sixth film, as well as the first installment of the movie I'm actually building up to, Ant Man. So, Ant Man was directed by Peyton Reed and has a very long cast. I don't want to. I don't want to talk about them all in one thing, so I'm just going to talk about them individually. I want to say, first off, I think the cast in this movie is great. It's a very charming, likable cast. I think they all work together very well. Of course, we start off with Paul Rudd, who is great as Scott Lang or Ant-Man. I think I think Paul Rudd really was a great cast for this character. They could have really screwed up the cast for this character, but I don't know. I just think Paul Rudd does a great job. He's a very compelling character. It's a compelling story about a father who wants to do the right thing. And it's also a very funny movie. I think Paul Rudd just like thrives at being a compelling, funny character. So I feel like Ant-Man, if he was going to play any superhero, Ant-Man was going to be a superhero. Michael Douglas also gives a great performance. He gives arguably the best performance in this movie as Hank Pym. I think Michael Douglas is another very compelling character in the story. And I think he's probably my favorite character in the movie behind Ant-Man, obviously. And I think... I don't know, I just think Michael Douglas does such a great job at playing Hank Pym. He really just nails the role so well. He's very compelling, and it's weird because whenever you have an old guy <laughs> and a young guy like doing a thing together, the old guy maybe, for some people, might feel like he's a drag, but not, no, not Michael Douglas. He's great in this movie and his character. He's interesting, he's compelling, and I think that the dynamic between him and Paul Rudd is just fantastic. I think the, the, the chemistry between the two of them is great. I also really like Evangeline Lilly as, as Hope Pym. I think she does a good job in this movie. She's also a little bit of a compelling character. I will say, though, I like her more in the second Ant-Man movie than I do the first one, but she's still she's still very good in this one. I think that she does a great job with both Rudd and Douglas in this movie. Speaking of great chemistry, I have to, of course, talk real quick about Michael Pena as Luis. Luis is Ant-Man's friend, and he's he's hilarious. He's he's a really like, he's kind of like a comic relief character, which is interesting considering it's more of a comedic superhero movie, but I don't know. He just fits the tone of the movie so well. He's hilarious. He's always a joy to behold whenever he's on camera, and I just think that the on-screen friendship with him and Paul Rudd is just, it's so entertaining, it's hilarious to watch, it's, it kind of reminds me of, like, the on-screen friendship that we see with, like, uh, Tom Holland and whatever his name is who plays Ned in Spider-Man Homecoming, I don't know, I just, think, I just think Michael Pena and Paul Rudd are just so good together in this movie, I think, he, he's a nice little, like, spice character, I kind of feel like you would describe him, He he's not, like, He's, he's part of the story, but he's not the main idea of the story, but you, you kind of like sprinkle him on there, and he just makes the movie even better. I think Michael Pena is hilarious in this movie, and I'm glad he's in this movie. So T.I. and David Asmelchian are also pretty entertaining as Dave and Kurt. They're not in the movie too much, but when they are there, they're fun to watch. They're also kind of spice characters, kind of like uh, Luis, played by Michael Pena. And I think that the three of those guys, Michael Pena as Luis and Dave and Kurt, are all very funny. They're a very funny trio, and I think that they all do a great job with Paul Rudd in this movie. I think that those guys just have great on-screen comedy and chemistry with each other. They, they all do a great job, even though even though these two guys aren't in the movie that much. They're fun to watch when they're there. I also think that the story, as well as the chemistry between Ant-Man and the actor who plays his daughter, is very heartfelt. It's very cute, and it's very, like, it's compelling. It really adds a whole lot of humanity to the character of Scott Lang, a guy you don't know if you can trust all that much, but he's trying to be a good father, and that's why you can uh, feel compelled by him, or you can, like, want him to do the right thing, you can root for him to do the right thing, because at the end of the day, he wants to do the right thing, he just makes some mistakes. I think that the whole idea of having this guy's main conflict be being him wanting to see his daughter is just a great way to go about it. It's m more of an original idea for the MCU that we've had thus far, and I think that it's done very well. Ant-Man is also pretty original in terms of action sequences. For the first time ever, we're seeing action sequences in both small scale and big scale. And they're great. I think that the action sequences are very well choreographed. I was think that the CGI, the green screens, and like the actual just way it's all directed, it's great to look at. It has some of the most like well put together action scenes in the MCU thus far, in my opinion. I feel like it's. I feel like Ant Man's probably like gets doesn't get enough credit for it. I really do think it's a very visually appealing movie. The action sequences are entertaining as well as funny. That's the other thing I feel like this movie does very well. It's proof that action sequences can be humorous. They can be comedic. In the past, like, of course, Marvel's had some funny action sequences, but I don't know, I just kind of just feel like this one, they kind of doubled down on it in a way that I felt really worked for the script. I just, I don't know, I think, I think Peyton Reed just did a great job directing this movie. It's a very well-made movie. I also think that the script is very good. This kind of reminds me of the first Iron Man movie in terms of, like, the origin story is a compelling origin story, but also kind of like the way he's, he's becoming Ant-Man, just like how the way Tony's becoming Iron Man is portrayed very humorously, and I feel like it's just done so well. It's like chef's kiss 
with how well executed the comedy is for this thing. I think that the jokes are told very well. I feel like they're placed very well. They're, it's very classy humor. That's the thing, though. The jokes have class, and they feel like they have a reason there. I kind of feel like this is kind of like probably the most similar to the first Iron Man movie, and I think that in almost every aspect, it's equally as good. It's Ant Man's just a great movie. I feel like the first Ant Man movie does not get enough credit from Marvel fans. My only flaw with this movie, and this is kind of a big flaw, but it's one that overall I can overlook because I have a lot of fun with this movie, is that Corey Stoll as the villain, Darren Cross, he gives a good performance, but he's a little bit of a vanilla villain. He's kind of forgettable. I mean, we do see like kind of like some details about why he's doing what he's doing, and it is interesting, but we don't get to see him too much, and so I feel like in the end it's kind of one of the lesser interesting aspects of Ant-Man, but that's really my only flaw with the movie. I think that overall it's a fantastic movie. It's very fun. I think it's one of the funniest and one of the most lighthearted uh, and most heartfelt Marvel movies that we've had thus far. I think Ant-Man's a fantastic movie, and I highly recommend checking it out. I'm going to give it an overall rating of an 8.5 out of 10, and an overall grade of an A-. So that was my review of Ant-Man. Make sure you turn in just a few more days to watch my review of the next film in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Captain America Civil War. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe, hit the notification bell so you get notified about my latest videos. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about the video. And yes, that's it. Peace.